Hello sport card collectors and welcome back to another episode of Beat the Odds Card Breaks. We're super excited to bring this episode to you here today. Alicia and I are here together. We will be ripping a hobby box of 2020 Donruss Optic Baseball. This has, uh, we just got this in Canada. I guess we were a little late to the party here up in Canada. Um, I was able to get a couple of these from different places here. Uh, and I found another place that has some more, but within a week, the price on these things have already gone up $40 for the box. So I only imagine that's going to get more and more expensive um, as the weeks go. And part of that is that there is so much nice stuff that you can get out of this box for sure. All your rookies are here for 2020. And then on top of that, they've got a rated prospect set that includes not only Bobby Witt, but also Jason Dominguez. And there happens to be a Jason Dominguez auto that you can pull out of these here too. So the demand on these, I imagine, are going to are going to be quite quite high, uh, which is why I'm very very happy to be able to get uh, this on here for the channel for you guys to take a look at. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna break open this box. Um, I'll show you guys actually the side here. This says look for hot boxes. So I did a little research. There's 10 boxes per case, and out of each case, two of these are going to be hot boxes, including five autographs, and two are going to be hot boxes, including 20 numbered prisms. We're going to have three of these hobby boxes on the channel, hopefully, maybe four. We'll, we'll see how it goes here when we pull it. Uh, chances are we should get at least one of those as hot boxes. I'm hoping that that's going to be a hot box with autographs and some good ones will be pulled here too. But you know what? I would take a hot box of any type. Maybe we'll get one in this one here. Let's crack her open. Uh, we're not going to do any type of game format with this. We're just going to... This will be kind of like our first look on Optic. We might do something with the later boxes here, but I'm more interested in kind of cracking these open here for you to see what we can get. I'm pretty excited. It's been a while since I've been uh, this excited to open up a hobby box. So inside here, of course, you're going to get 20 packs. I'll give you 10. I'm going to take those. So it's five here. And you're going to take the bottom stack. And then I'll take these two. So four cards per pack. Usually they're going to get one insert in there. And then if we do have a hot box, uh, we'll know pretty much right away if it is a, uh, a number prism one. Because there's going to be a number prism in every pack. So after two or three packs, if we see it there, it's going to be... It's, that's going to be a number prism hot box. If we start pulling autographs really early, then we have a shot at the autograph hot box. Who wants to start? Okay, so this is our first look. I'm going to go first here. This is our first look at 2020 Optic Baseball. Here we go. Let's see who's going to be first out. Uh, well, I can tell you right off the bat, it's not going to be a, a hot box for uh, prisms because I don't have a prism in here that's going to be numbered. But we do have a Clayton Kershaw. There's a Jonathan Hernandez rookie card and a Raphael Devers in the Silver Hollow Diamond King and then a Christian Yelich. These are really cool inserts here, the stained glass. I think that might be one of the nicer inserts that you can get out of this set here. So I'm not going to really put anything on the board. I'm hoping that we're going to do better in our hits than what we just pulled out of that first pack. Let's see what Alicia's going to get out of hers. So in Canadian, these uh, my first boxes I got, I got lucky at about 180 a box. Uh, the last box that I've secured somebody's holding for me up in Winnipeg is about 220, and it looks like they're going to go higher than that here pretty quick. So if you can get in uh, on them early there, I suggest trying to buy one here right off the bat. Bobby Bradley is going to be the first card out, rookie card. We've got two rookie cards, that's pretty cool. Shun Yamaguchi. There's our um, autograph right off the bat there. Uh, Glaber Torres in the stained glass, and we got a Ronald Bolano. It doesn't look like it's going to be numbered. Nope, just a base autograph there, Ronald Bolanos. And I believe that is an on-card one. They do on-card autographs here with uh, Optic, which is another reason why people are really buying into this set. So one autograph down. Maybe we have a uh, autograph hot box. That would be cool. I guess if we pull another autograph here pretty quick, that might be the case. It looks like I'm going to have a numbered card in here. Uh, Aaron Judge Diamond Kings. That's a pretty nice one. Then we got a Christian Yelich All-Star. This, The All-Stars are going to be part of the main set here. Oh, look at that. Look at that, babe. 
Mike Trout, orange, Diamond King. That's definitely a nice hit there. Uh, Christian Yelich, as you see, the, the set goes to 200. I think the last four cards are these all-star cards here. So this is not an insert. It is just a part of the main set. But that Diamond Kings definitely is an insert. And there's a Jose Canseco uh, card behind that, too. That's going to be part of the main set. This one here is going to go to 100. So a numbered 81 to 100 Mike Trout Orange Diamond King. That definitely is a very, very nice card to pull. Happy to see that. Uh, next pack up. We have Alicia going to be starting off with a Marco Gonzalez. There's a Jordan Yamamoto rated rookie. And a Sean Murphy rated rookie in the hollow. And a Keith Hernandez card to finish off that pack. So not much. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? These are... I probably should put these over here with the Christian Yellows. Those aren't inserts. Those are just part of the main set. Actually, technically speaking, so is this. The uh, the set is kind of kind of neat the way they do it there. The first... I don't know, 20 or 30 cards, I guess, are the um, Diamond Kings, and then the next 60 or so are the Rated Rookies, and then they got 100 base, and then the last four cards are going to be the um, the All-Stars. So Max Muncy is going to be base here for me. Sheldon Noisy Rookie card. So we haven't hit a really big rookie yet. Hopefully we can get one here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, a Mythical, that's going to be a Hollow. In Vlad or for Vladdy Jr. for Toronto, so big fan of, of Vladdy cards. Of course, here's, here's our first prospect. Let's see who we're, they're going to give us here. It's a pitcher by the looks of it. Forrest Whitley. I got a Forrest Whitley uh, prospect card out of Donruss, the Donruss boxes that we open here. Looks like we got another one here for Optic. All right. Actually, I don't think I'm going to put that down there. It's not a huge card. Okay, so Nolan Arenado, going to be the first one out of the box here. There's Brock Burke after that. You might have the next autograph here. You sure do. Uh, catcher Eric Hase. Um, signature series for Cleveland. I don't know who that is. So that's not always that's not a good sign. Hopefully there's going to be more autographs coming because our autographs weren't very good. Uh, Andrew Vaughn rated prospect. That's not too bad. He's a pretty good one. We got a few packs still left to go, so this could very well still be an autograph hot box. I guess uh, we'll see as we open them up. Otherwise, Alicia just opened up the two ones pretty early. Um, okay, so Justin Upton's going to be the first one out of this pack here. Oh, you know what? We do have a hot box. We've got a hot box, and it's the autograph one because I see an autograph uh, with mine here. So Justin Upton is going to start us off with the rated rookie. Uh, we'll keep that autograph here to last. Uh, Brendan McKay, the rookies. That's going to be an insert. We'll leave that to the side here. Alex Bregman, Diamond Kings. And let's see who we get here. It's a prism. Ooh, AA. Hopefully this is not Albert Alzali, but I bet you it is. Oh, no, it's not. Look at that. Yes. Aristides Aquino. That's the one that you want. Um, okay, let's see. I think it's just a... Ooh, that, that's pretty. So that's a uh, pink... Pink prisms, not numbered. Uh, I don't know what they call these mojo prisms or something like that. I don't know. But that's really nice looking. Aristides Aquino, rookie autograph. Um, that's cool. That's going to go on the board here. I should probably start putting some sleeves on these puppies here because we got some pretty nice pulls already. And super happy that we got the autograph hot box. That was kind of what I was hoping to get. Next, pack, next card up here is Madison Bumgarner, Jake Rogers, and then we have a hollow Don Manningly. And then the last card there is going to be a mythical Cody Bellinger. That looks like the base card there. We can put the hollow. Yeah, we'll put the hollows down here. And then we'll put the, yeah, we'll put that down here. That's the inserts. Okay. We got a hot box. There's only two in a case, and we got one of them. So, needless to say, uh, we've been really lucky with with the hobby boxes that we've pulled. In case you haven't seen us pull a hobby box, look at our Donruss one, and then look at the hobby box that we did for uh, uh, Diamond Kings, for Panini Diamond Kings. That was just crazy what we got in that one. Uh, both of those are on the channel here, so t definitely take a look if you get a chance. Francisco Lindor. For Cleveland, we have a Patrick Sandoval rookie. So still looking for some of the big rookie cards. We haven't really had any of those yet. 
Um, what, then we got a silver. What's this one? No, just a regular Walker Bueller. So it's not a bad card there. And then we've got a mythical. Oh, there we go. Ask for a rookie and you shall receive. Luis Robert mythical card. Uh, I think I'm going to take. That's going to take the place of the hollow uh, Vladdy Jr. card. I will definitely take that Luis Robert. That is the rookie that we are all looking to hit if you are collecting baseball cards in 2020. Uh, next pack, we've got a Paul Goldschmidt to start. There's a Tyrone Taylor rookie card. And then we got our next uh, autograph here. Uh, Illusions Paul Goldschmidt. And let's see who our next autograph is going to be here. Hopefully it's got another good name. It's a Prism, J.H. Uh, Jonathan Hernandez, yes. Jonathan Hernandez in the Hollow Prism, another on-card one. So that's the fourth one here. Not a huge name, but we are going to get that in the sleeve there too. So, so far the Aristides Aquino would be the bigger um, autograph that we hit, or the biggest autograph that we hit. Uh, gosh, I'm going to start to run out of room here. You know what? I like you, Lu Luis Robert, but I think I'm going to leave those spots perhaps for... Well, actually, we'll get a sleeve for you. We'll leave those for um, the autographs. we got one more to find in, looks like, 10 packs here. Let's see if it's going to come out of mine. So starting us off is going to be an Austin Meadows... Ah, look at that. We uh, we used to call our cat Ronald Acuna Jr., but Acuna was just too hard to say, so his name is now switched to Mookie. Uh, it for um, well, in in uh, memory of Mookie Betts, or not memory. He's not dead, I guess. So uh, Mookie is, is our new cat's name here. Or the Ronald Acuna Jr. is definitely a uh, nice card still to pull. So there's a Kirby Puckett Hollow card. Then we got another <coughs> mythical. Looks like Pete Alonso. That's a good one. Um, we will put that one down here and move on to the next pack. So as mentioned here, I mean, we got a hot box, so we're lucky, but considering we only paid like $180 for this box, it looks like you're going to have the last autograph here too. That's pretty good. Uh, Jalen Davis rated rookie is going to start. There's a Shane Bieber diamond King, and then there's an illusions card of Buster Posey. And then let's see who we get as an autograph. Prism, Zach Collins. It's going to be Zach Collins for sure. Yeah. Uh, Hollow, Zach Collins. So not, not a huge name there, but again, we cannot complain. We got five autographs out of this pack. And one of them happened to, to be an Aquino. So definitely a very, very good pack. You know what? I think I'm going to leave. We'll leave the mic chat up there for now. Uh, that one deserves some screen time. So now we got... Actually, we got quite a few packs still left to open up here. There might still be a couple of nice cards that we're going to pull out of here. Let's see. I've seen somebody pull a one-of-one. One. That was pretty crazy. Uh, maybe we'll get one of those, too. Uh, Davey Gruon, or Gruon, I'm not quite sure how to say his last name, rated rookie. Then we got another rated rookie of Sam Hilliard. So still missing the big uh, rookie names here. Then we got another orange here, San Diego. Let's see if it's going to be a... Uh, we get Tatis? We did not. We got Manny Machado. Um, and then Robin Yount's going to finish off that pack. And the Machado, is that number to 100 as well? Oh no, this one's number to 60. Okay, so I guess this is a different type here. Number to 60, Manny Machado. That's pretty cool. Looks pretty off-centered though. Looks like it's a little bit missing from the bottom, but still, pretty cool card there. We will take it. Moving on to our next pack. Uh, Lorenzo Cain to start. There's a rated rookie of Joe Palumbo. And then looks like we have a hollow illusions card. I believe that's, I don't know who that, Whit Merrifield. Yes, I was right. I cheated because I saw the MER on the blue jersey there. And then I'll take that to sleeve it up there. And then a Paul Mahler card to finish it off. The nice, the thing about these cards, what also interested me in the set is they are really nice looking cards. I mean, Donruss itself, it was a cool set to collect there. I wasn't really too, too crazy about the cards. But once you throw some chrome on there, they really do pop. Uh, Luis Severino, it's going to be the first card out. Here's our Diamond Kings Pete Alonso card after that. And then we've got a Cincinnati Red Hollow of... <laughs> 
Ehu Henio Suarez, and then Adley Rushman. That's a good one. Adley Rushman rated prospect card. So there's one of the, um, I think he was, I don't know if he was number one pick two years ago, but he's definitely an up-and-comer there for uh, the Baltimore Orioles. They need all the help they can get, and he should be a pretty good prospect once he hits the majors. All right. It looks like he might have a prospect card I just saw at the back there. Nick Solak to start. There's a Cody Bellinger Optic Diamond Kings card. Oh, there we go. Kyle Lewis, who's been off to a fantastic start this season. Uh, that's his Stars card. I don't know if that's his, not the red, white, and blue. What's his number two? Oh, 76. Yeah, so I did, maybe Independence Day parallel to 76. And then Casey Mize, uh, good pitcher there for Detroit. Uh, coming up in the Detroit system there as the last card. Um, okay, so it looks like we got four packs to go here. I got two, and Alicia has two. Oop, pardon folks for knocking the camera. Let's see who I get. Chris Paddock to start. There's a Randy a Rose Arena rated rookie card. And then we've got another rated rookie of Ronald Bolano. So that goes with the... Uh, actually, it's kind of interesting. They use a different picture for the... Oh, there's a Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux, the rookie's card here. But they, they look at... They use a different picture for the signature. So I guess it's not part of the main set there. But we'll take it. We'll take the Ronald Bolanos. And then we got a Gavin Lux rookie's card. So that's pretty cool too. I was kind of hoping because we got the five autographs. So really, maybe they would have tossed a sixth one in just for fun. Uh, Trevor Story is going to start. There's a Shogo Akiyama. So that's actually one of the rookies, one of the nice rookies there. Trace Barrera, I believe he just got a PED suspension. And then Andres Galarraga is going to be the last one out of that pack. And I got one more pack, as does Alicia. Let's see what I can get out of mine. It's going to be tricky to kind of name the best pull of the video here. We got a couple of pretty nice cards. Uh, for uh, to consider, but I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to name yet. Charlie Morton, there's a Juan Soto Diamond King, and then we've got, what's this? Ooh, Rated Prospect, and it's a batter. Oh, uh, no. Oh, but it's a good one. Wow. It's a Wander Franco Rated Prospect Hollow. There's another one to consider for the best pull here. I'm giving the sleeve over to Alicia. She's going to get this sleeved up right away. And then behind that is an Austin Meadows Illusion card. That's really cool. That definitely should... I don't know where I'm going to put this one here. I'm starting to run out of room. We're going to put him next to the Mike Trout there for now. Wander Franco rated prospect. That's going to be... Uh, that's probably the, one of the nicer pulls that we got out of here. You got a smile on your face. Is that a good thing? She's uh, she's going to be super happy with... Or I'm supposed to be super happy. Or maybe we will. Hold on. She's not giving me much, uh, much to go on here. Whit Merrifield is going to start. Brendan McKay rookie card. Uh, rookie card of Abraham Toro, and then we have Gavin Lux. Yeah, okay, oh. Gavin Lux stained glass card. I was looking, I was like, no, that's not Bo because he's hitting from the wrong side. Gavin Lux, though, that's really cool in the stained glass. So we got a couple of Luxes out of here. Uh, we got an Aquino signature. We got a Franco prospect and a Mike Trout I don't know, orange? I don't know what the names of these prisms are prisms are right now off the bat. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the decision over to Alicia here. Alicia, what is the best pull of this video? You got seven cards to choose from. What do you pick? Franco. You pick the Franco? She picks the Franco rated prospect. If you guys agree with her. Leave a comment down below. Frankly, I probably would have taken the Aquino rookie myself, but it was her choice and she chose the Franco. It's a really, really strong one, ch strong choice for sure. Um, if you guys, uh, off the cards that you see here, uh, leave a comment down below as to what you think the best pull was. If you guys enjoyed this first look at Optech, leave a like on the video. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet already. Uh, we're going to sign off for now, but expect more Optic to show up on this channel here very shortly. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you on the next episode.